Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy. This is the Steel Wheel Knives Resident. Um, first off, though, I want to thank very much my buddy uh, Josh over at the Journey Wind Junk Blog for sending this little guy along. It's actually on its way over to Advanced Knife Bro, uh, who is another YouTuber who you should absolutely be checking out. Um, next thing, let's do a little size comparison real quick. This is actually not a very small knife. Uh, here it is against the Ontario Rat Number One and your Rat Number Two. So you can see it's right, it's right up there with the Rat One here. Um, here it is again. Against the Spydeco Delica, so you can see, yeah, it's it's a it's not a small knife. Um, here it is with the Steel Wheel Modus, which is going to be coming up for review here soon, and then the uh, three-inch cut jack here. So got a couple of steel wheels going on here. Um, and so you can see here that lengthwise it's a little longer than both of them. And then here it is against another relatively large carbon fiber knife, the uh, ZT0452CF, which is absolutely winning in terms of size. So um, there you go. Next thing, uh, Steel Wheel Knives. Steel Wheel is a company, they're relatively new. They're, uh, they, they make their stuff either in China or in Italy, depending on the uh, the, the product itself. But um, this is uh, a very interesting little company. They've been doing some interesting budget work lately, as well as some interesting stuff in the higher end with your M390 and such. So um, th th that's nice. And then finally... Uh, sorry about the thumb, but we'll get back to that a little bit later here. Um, so first off, let's go into the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of this uh, particular interesting pocket knife here. So first off, uh, on the good side, um, this has very nice carbon fiber. This is a consistent all the way through sort of carbon fiber. And in fact, it reminds me, although it's got a very different texture, it's it's clearly a, from a different supplier, but it reminds me in a lot of ways of the carbon fiber in the ZT452 or something along those lines, or even over here from this uh, this Wii knife here. Um, it is a very nice carbon fiber. It, it, it does not feel cheapy. It does not feel ugly. It does not feel printed on or anything like that. Um, I, I gotta say, that's nice. And especially for a knife that's aiming at the budget end, to have good CF on there, that's definitely a nice thing. So that's good. Next thing, the um, thumb disc on this guy is out of the slicing path. What I mean by that is that, you know, by and large, the, the, the plunge grind comes out to here and the thumb disc is over here. And so that means that for the majority of cutting, it's not gonna be in your slicing path unless you're doing a cut that's kind of at this angle. I never like thumb discs. I think they're a really bad solution in general, but this one bothers me less than usual because it's really unlikely to snag on anything and uh, cause problems. So that, that that is definitely something I do appreciate. Next thing, the blade on this guy is nice in a lot of ways. It's got D2 steel, um, is the, the steel on this guy, and D2 is a solid steel. It's good to go, and steel wheel tends to run theirs pretty well. Um, it is got a nice little swedge to it on the blade, which actually adds a little bit more interest and intrigue to it, if you will. It's relatively thin thin behind the edge. This is a fine little blade on this knife. I got no real objection to that uh, whatsoever. Um, it is, well, actually, I'll come back to that one later. Next thing, the clip on this guy is good in some ways. Um, it, although it does cause an ergonomic hot spot, it is a nice deep carry clip. It's got a nice length to it. It's got some nice tension to it. It's got plenty of ramp, etc. And it is a four-way clip, which means you can mount this knife right side or left side, tip up or tip down. Um, this is nice to see the option, so okay, no problem there. Next thing, um, as always seems to be the case uh, with steel wheel, there we go, um, you have a very nice etch. What I mean by that is that the, the lettering that's put into this guy is, is beautifully put in there. Um, it's deeply etched. You can really feel it. It's tactile. It's not like kind of crappy printing, which feels like it's, you know, just barely there. Like, for instance, on the Rat 1 over here, yeah, not so impressive. But the etch on this guy is pretty solid. I appreciate that. Next thing, um, if you put the clip aside, um, this guy does feel pretty nice in the hand. You get lots of gripitude from it, both from the uh, blasted titanium on the back side here, as well as this finger groove. Um, it's got nice lock bar access. Ergonomically speaking, again, with the clip being a notable experience, exception, this is a pretty solid knife in the hand, so can't argue with that. The lock bar tension on it is very nice, uh, with enough to, to keep the knife very safe. I mean, there's no concern with it, but also uh, a little too, uh, but not quite, you know, enough to really fight you on anything, so I appreciate that very much. The uh, blue standoffs on this guy are a very nice touch. If they're going to use standoffs, they might as well make them pretty, and they've done that here. And then finally, the price on this guy is pretty solid. This is an $85 knife, and that's for a titanium frame lock with actually what is a pretty nice action and a, a blade that's made from pretty damn good steel. I like D2 a lot, personally. Um, you know, some people disagree, but you know what? Honestly, especially compared to, you know, when the Delica is 75 bucks. 
Uh, this is this is winning by a pretty good margin and way by way more than 10 bucks worth of margin. So to me, that's what's good here. So it's got a nice price. It's got the blue standoffs, which I like. The lock bar tension is good. The lock bar access is good. Ergonomically, it's it's pretty good, clip aside. Um, it has a very nice etch, a deep carry clip that fits four ways, a nice blade, and a thumb disc that's out of the slicing path, and it is using very nice carbon fiber. But to me, what's great about this guy is actually the action here. This is a very, very smooth action. It's really smooth enough that I just don't give a crap that it has Teflon washes, and I appreciate that, and coupled with a very, very strong detent that we will talk about later, um, this guy pops open reliably and can even fall shut pretty reliably without any blade play or anything like that. When it first came to me, the washes were swapped around. I don't know if it came that way from the factory or what, but and that was a disappointment. That caused some trouble, but, um, you know, now that it's, it's in full adjustment, lubricated and whatnot, the action on this is very nice. And so at least on this particular night, and steel wheel is known for a lot of variability. Um, it is absolutely great in terms of action. On the bad side, first off, this is a 3.6 inch blade, which means it's just over a legal line. In a lot of places here in the U.S., uh, 3.5 inches is a, a, a line in the sand that's drawn. And so it always bugs me a little bit when knife companies add an extra 0.1 inch or whatever to the, to the blade length here, because all that that's doing is making this a felony in more places. Um, is there really a big difference between 3.5 and 3.6 in any functional sense? No, not necessarily. But the fact is, this is just not under... I mean, if you measure it in different ways, you get anywhere from 3.5 to 3.6. I, I, I just, I don't like that. I think that they should either go a little bit under and convincingly so... Or go big, if, you know, go big, uh, you know, go 3.75, go four, something like that. But these just slightly bigger than 3.5 inch blades just do bug me. It's not a great deal. Um, next thing, the uh, clip on this guy I mentioned already is a serious hotspot, particularly with this split clip. And I, I totally get why they did it, such that these two screws are accessible, but that gives you two smaller hotspots rather than one bigger one. Um, and so ultimately, that makes this knife a lot less comfortable in the hand than it could be otherwise. And I'm not a big fan of that. Next thing, the uh, billboarding on the blade. There is a lot of crap written on this blade, and Steel Wheel is really proud of their brand. They put it front and center on everything, and uh, th th there's a lot on there. Look, the typography is great. So I'm willing to be a little more uh, kind to this than usual, but um, I don't know. I feel like they could definitely back that down a little bit. Next thing, the uh, clip. This is a deep carry clip, but unfortunately the screws is sticking up into the clip area a fair amount, which means that very often I needed to give this guy some extra insistence, if you will, to push it all the way down into my pocket. And a deep carry clip that only seats this far isn't a deep carry clip at all. So I much prefer when companies who use deep carry clips will countersink the screws a little bit, uh, such that the uh, the, 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 it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't stick up into that slicing path, or uh, slicing path, sliding path, I suppose. Yeah, it works, right? Um, next thing, the uh, pivot on this guy, unfortunately, I found even with a little bit of blue thread locket to loosen naturally. Um, you know, I, I readjusted the pivot this morning, and uh, it's already starting to loosen back up again. This probably just means something's not quite the spec in there, and that, that's not great. Um, it's not terrible, but I'm, I'm back to a little bit of blade play when previously I, I wasn't, and that's, that's just not great. Um, and it's a sign of some questionable quality going on there. Next thing, this does not have a sharpening choil. Um, it does, kind of. I mean, look, it's it's very close to being a sharpening choil, but the plunge grind comes out to about here, and the sharpening choil comes out to about here. Um, and the fact that it starts so, uh, well, basically, there's not any real dip here, I, I feel like that's, that's an issue. And so you end up already with a little bit of recurve on a blade that could be very straight otherwise. Um, this is sort of frustrating. It's like you get the worst of both worlds. A, a lack of choil, but also the aesthetics of one. Not a big fan of that. And then finally on the bad side, bordering on ugly is the detent on this guy. The detent on this guy is really, really, really strong. So that's not a bad thing necessarily. I mean, a strong detent can be nice. It makes it flip very reliably. Once you can get it to deploy, it will always deploy. But that is coupled with this very, very sharp serrated thumb disc. And that is what happened to my thumb. As a matter of fact, the very first take of this review, and I didn't think to keep it, um, I sat down and I started flipping this guy. The problem is I had just gotten out of the shower. And so my hands were all, you know, wrinkly and whatnot. Um, and so I'm sitting there, I'm trying to force this knife open. And they, to do so, you're using, you're trying to press your thumb against this little area here. And it just, 
slit right through there, and so I'm freaking bleeding out the thumb as a result of this damn knife. Um, this is probably not a common experience. A lot of people have significantly more callousing on their thumbs. A lot of people don't flip their knives directly after a shower. Um, but the thing is, guys, come on. Um, when your detent is so strong, coupled with a sharp thumb disc, that people are literally cutting themselves trying to open the knife, that's not freaking good. And so as a result, you get something that is nice at some level, a very reliable deployment, but but it's just, it's too much of a good thing, and so I, they need to dial that tension back. That also brings me to the, uh, the well, actually, the, the, that's ugly. Uh, we'll, we'll go there next. Uh, but, uh, so that's the uh, uh, the bad to me, is that the detent is just overly strong for this guy, meaning that you really have to apply a lot of force to pop this guy open. Um, there is not quite a sharpening choil on this guy. The pivot is loosening itself pretty naturally, even with some blue Loctite. The clip's got screws in the path for the pants to slide into. Um, you have very, very uh, huge billboarding all over the blade although with good typography, it's got a serious hot spot off the clip, and it is, um, oh, I don't think I mentioned this, but this knife is just begging for a front flipper. Stick this up just a little bit more, add a little texturing, then bam, you can get rid of this goddamn thumb disc anyways. Um, and so, to me, at least, that, that that's the bad. On the ugly side, a couple of things. First off, um, Steel Will has been really inconsistent lately, in my experience. Um, aside, uh, along with the, the, the very public cases of what appear to be bad heat treat, although there were other questions like uh, Pete Colligan had over there. <laughs> Some other people have reported on forums. Um, there, there were lots of cases. I'm getting a bunch of people because I've recommended the Steel Wheel 3-inch cut jack over and over again because it is a very nice little budget option. But I'm getting a lot of people who are getting them and saying, well, Nick, mine doesn't have an action anywhere near as good as yours. When I when it's I either have blade play and so and then they'll show me these washers, which are terrible. And you know, I believe them. But then I got this guy. This is a Steel Wheel Modus that was uh, generously donated to the channel by a viewer whose name I'm forgetting at the moment. That's awful. Um, but anyways, and this had awful awful washes. It still does. I mean, I had to polish these guys up. This was a repair job, basically. Um, and, you know, that was just not freaking good. And so Steel Will is sort of, I, I feel like they're at a really, they're at a time of troubles here where maybe their manufacturer is jerking them around a little bit or letting the quality slip now that they're in too deep. I don't know. But look, um, you want to buy your Steel Wills right now from a place you can return them, and you want to return it immediately if there is any sign of an issue whatsoever. Um, because they they need to be held to the fire on this guy. They can't be shipping crap. Um, I'm sorry. Um, and then the other ugly thing here is this damn thumb disc. Now, look, I don't like thumb discs. Hashtag bias. But they, they are very often in the slicing path. They snag more readily than thumb studs. But the fact that this is serrated and sharp on the bottom there, coupled with this strong detent, will literally cut me open. This marks the second time in my freaking reviewing life where I've cut myself with review. Uh, during review, one was this freaking cold steel tie light, the, the, the video it's on video there. The, the, the second time is this little guy uh, with this serration thing. That's ugly as freaking sin. So the fact that they've got a thumb disc to me is ugly in and of itself, but the fact that they've got an overly sharp one that is able to cut you open is really, really unpleasant. And so to me, those are the ugly things, is that this thumb disc is awful and sharp, and that the, the, the steel wheel is really seeming to have some troubles lately. Uh, so let's go to your final conclusion. Um, at some level, this is a nice knife. I mean, it's got good carbon fiber. It's got very nice titanium, good steel, and an action that is actually pretty damn good. All coming in at a pretty decent price, all told. I mean, 10 bucks more than a Delica for this is actually not a... That, that's impressive. Um, it's definitely got some troubles, though, too. I mean, the clip is absolutely a hot spot. The sharpening choil isn't really a sharpening choil. The detent is way too strong. The thumb disc just sucks. And steel wheel seems to be having some troubled times of late. Um... And you know what? It's not a knife for me, 100%. I mean, it's maybe a little bit bigger than my taste is usually, but the thumb disc is, for me, uh, it's a non-starter. And this to 10, eh, I don't freaking know. But um, on the whole, you know, if I put aside my one issue and the fact that the knife tried to kill me in a very small way, um, this is still a relatively solid piece. I mean, it's not perfect, and they can absolutely do better, but I can see one of these with a better detent actually being a really compelling option. Um, and so, you know, it's not for everybody, absolutely, and they've definitely got some room to improve, particularly, you know, this whole area right in here, guys, please come on. And a front flipper, come on. But nonetheless, I think that for a lot of people, if they're able to get one with a good detent and everything else done well, um, this little resident could very easily reside in their pocket. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting and worth my terrible sacrifice, hashtag drama, and that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.